Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to stay a while by clicking that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you don't miss another video. And today's video is going to be super easy you guys. Let's get into it. So I'm starting off with this 8x10 mirror from the Dollar Tree. I already cut up some foam board that was 8x10 also. And I'm going to be using these little figurines that I found at the Dollar Tree. I wish I had found four, but I only found three. But I thought it would be great for this DIY. So the first thing I did was glue my two pieces of foam board together. You can definitely make this thicker if you want and glue three or four pieces. And once it was put together, I went ahead and glued the mirror on top of that using hot glue. And of course, don't forget to let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Once I added my mirror, made sure everything was straight, I am going to be using my Totally Dazzled um, Diamond Wrap to cover up the edges. Now I had a giant roll of this, I will link it below for you guys. As usual, it is the best deal. If you're getting it from the Dollar Tree, stop getting it for Totally Dazzled because it's really nice, it's sparkly and you get so much free money. So I already cut some strips of that, I'm using a four row strip and I'm going to be just covering all the edges with that. So once I glued it on with the hot glue on the edges, made sure everything was covered up, I started to line up my three figurines so I could make my stand. Again, I wish I'd found four. There was only three of them. Oh wait, and I forgot to say, I covered the bottom with some contact paper because I'm going to be putting this on my mirrored console. So the arrangement of the figurines was a little bit tricky because I only have three, so I found that to make it more stable, I was able to put it in a triangular shape so one and two corners at the bottom as you can see here and then one in the middle at the top and then I just use hot glue to secure it but of course of course permanent permanent glue is always recommended I only use hot glue for the video and here's the final result you guys how pretty is this it's so cute I love the figurines I really wish I had four of them like I said but it's so sparkly, so shiny. The silver really, really pops and looks so beautiful on a mirrored surface. And you can display anything you want on there. And now let's get into the second DIY. Another easy one. I'm starting off with these Dolly Tree candle holders. I have two that are already glued on together. And then these two mirrors also were already glued on from a different project. It's pretty much the two um, hexagon mirrors glued back to back and I was gonna use the gems but I ended up not using them but you definitely can if you'd like to just embellish this even more now to make this I'm gonna be using these Dollar Tree little dessert spoons they come in a pack of 24 and all you have to do is snap them um, at the end and then you get the actual spoon portion versus the handle and then all I did was hot glue the back of the spoons to the mirrors all along the edge now I'm using the hexagon ones because that's what I had already put together you can definitely use your um, round mirrors for this as well so it's really simple just glue them all along the first edge and then the next step is going to be to glue a second row in the middle and you're gonna put the second row in between the spoons so that you have like a graded effect like it's kind of gonna be diminished so for that first edge I ended up using all 24 spoons and I'm sorry my hot glue gun is totally in the way and then for the second row I'm gonna put it in between the spoons like so and um, just use hot glue again that was a little bit trickier it really required a little bit more balance especially that the size of the spoons and the size of the mirror working that together was a little bit tricky to make sure everything was spaced out properly so you're just gonna have to work that out and once you have it all put together I made two of these this is what it's going to look like in the end I 
I have to say you guys really really love the way this turned out you can have it on the candle holder like I have here or you can have it lay flat you can make two or three of them and make a whole trio it's so pretty so beautiful so sparkly now because I have a pillar candle on there I really didn't need the additional gems but you can definitely add them on top of the spoons and add even more sparkle I personally felt like I didn't need it but hey it's up to you so that's it you guys for the video today i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed and don't forget to like and share and if you're not following me on that facebook group if you're a crafter go ahead and request i will have a link below for you guys to join the group and that's it i thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you in my next one god bless and bye bye